And when you do come to Sao Paulo, don't drink the water. Between you and me, I have before. Don't tell my girlfriend. And that was fine, but or at least I think I'm fine. Gia Familia. As you guys should already know, I'm currently living in Sao Paulo. So for that reason, in today's vlog, I'm gonna give you guys the top 10 things to know before you come to Sao Paulo. Keep in mind, all 10 of these things are strictly based on my experience living in Sao Paulo for three months. First thing to know about Sao Paulo is traffic. Sao Paulo is the largest city in the Western Hemisphere. First thing that you'll notice when you leave the airport is traffic. There is always traffic, and it is the most intense traffic that I've ever seen in all 55 countries. It is backed up, and it is inevitable. So plan accordingly. So seriously, I've never seen traffic anywhere in the world like in Sao Paulo. Since we're on the topic of transportation, number two is transportation. Unless you're planning on driving out of the city when you get to Sao Paulo, do not run a car. Uber is everywhere. Take Uber, it is super, super cheap. Highly recommend it. I take Uber all the time because it's so cheap. If you're looking to avoid the traffic, there are also other ways too. You can rent bikes, and my favorite, you can rent scooters. When you go to Sao Paulo, download the app Green, which is a scooter rental. And it's just like the scooter rentals they have in parts of the states. It's super easy to use, they're relatively inexpensive, and they're so much fun. Also, public transportation. There are buses everywhere in Sao Paulo. I've taken the buses a few times. It's a very effective way to beat traffic. Buses literally have their own lanes to surpass traffic jams. This one's pretty easy and straightforward, but if you go to Sao Paulo, there are so many restaurants. It is a huge city for gastronomy, and that's not just Brazilian food. That's Japanese food, Korean food, Italian food. I highly recommend the Japanese food and the Lebanese food in Sao Paulo. Yelp it, you can do all those, all the searches and stuff, but Japanese food and Lebanese food in Sao Paulo, amazing. There are some world-class restaurants in Sao Paulo. Certainly, if you've never been to Brazil before, try the Brazilian foods like Panja Queijo and Açaí. Yeah, Sao Paulo's a great city for culinary tourism. Speaking of culinary tourism, the next thing to know is the sights to see. Now, I can do a whole nother video and a whole nother list of all the tourist attractions and sights to see. I'm gonna talk about some of the main ones, some of my favorite ones. The Mercadão, the giant market in downtown Sao Paulo, Absolutely, you have to go there. It's insane. You have to see it when you're in Sao Paulo. Definitely check out Parque Ibirapuera. It's a huge park in Sao Paulo. It's absolutely beautiful. Beco do Batman. Definitely a tourist trap, but definitely awesome. Graffiti and street art everywhere. It's definitely worth it. Every single time that I've gone to Beco do Batman, it's always been packed with tourists, but it's worth it. All the tourist places that you're gonna find in Sao Paulo, they're not that bad. Sao Paulo is not heavily plagued by tourism. And then I would check out the Pinheiros neighborhood in general. It's a really cool neighborhood. It's kind of the Brooklyn of, of Sao Paulo. And lastly, on sites to see and things to do, uh, I would say check out Avenida Paulista on Sundays. They close the roads, it's like a giant, market festival type thing, really cool. The next thing to know about Sao Paulo is that you should go there during carnival time. I know there's a whole bunch of other cities that are probably way more festive and maybe even more exciting than Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo has some amazing blocos, bloquinhos, uh, parties in the streets during carnival time. It's important to know that a lot of the city shuts down, but it's so much fun. It's a really fun way to experience the city. So if you can go to Sao Paulo during carnival, go to Sao Paulo during carnival. You won't be disappointed. And whether you do or don't go to Sao Paulo during carnival, definitely go to a soccer match. Sao Paulo City has several teams, and if you watching this don't already have a team, congratulations, you now have Corinthians, the largest and the best by Corinthians. You can go online and buy tickets there. The soccer matches are relatively inexpensive depending how far in advance you get them and where you're sitting in the stadiums. They're safe, they're fine for families and kids. Going to a soccer match here in Sao Paulo will be one of the coolest experiences that you can do here, I promise. And the seventh thing to know before you come to Sao Paulo is Tipping. You do not have to tip in Sao Paulo. I, I assume that's all Brazil. There have been times when it's been included in the bill, so it's important to check, but for the most part, don't tip. And when you do come to Sao Paulo, drink in the sun, but don't drink the water. At least that's what I've been told. But for the most part, all the Brazilians that I've met and stayed with, everyone gets their water bottled from grocery stores, and you don't drink the water. It's just not a thing you do. So, eh, don't do it. They don't do it. Don't do it. Between you and me, I have before. Don't tell my girlfriend. And that was fine, but at least I think I'm fine. Don't drink the water. Number nine, 
By far, one of the most important things is that you need to learn some Portuguese before you go to Sao Paulo. Even though Sao Paulo is the largest city in the Western Hemisphere, even though it's packed, I have not found a lot of English in Sao Paulo. I would highly, highly recommend you learn some at least basic phrases in Portuguese before you go to Sao Paulo. Eu falo português, então eu não preciso fazer isso, mas vocês sim. Só um pouquinho. That main link was some like guys. Some of the tourist attractions and places like museums will have English speakers, but Uber drivers, restaurants, I haven't found many English speakers. So learn Portuguese. And last but not least, make friends. Find some kind of Facebook group here in Sao Paulo or find like a meetup group. But finding a local that knows the city, there are so many different restaurants and cool places uh, that are kind of hidden that tourists don't know about, that only the locals would know about, and they can take you there. So highly recommend, find some contacts, make some contacts before you come to Sao Paulo. And those are the top 10 things that you should know before you come to Sao Paulo. If you do come to Sao Paulo, you'll love it. It's an amazing city, it's a beautiful city, and the people here are absolutely great. You're gonna have a great time. Hope you guys like this vlog. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Boa noite.